Ooh. Now that's the rookie I'd be looking for. That's on the back of the pack. Ooh. That's the A-Rod Select Rookie. Look at that. Awesome. Awesome card there. Hey there, y'all. Bonkly. I hope you've been having a great day. Hope every day is a blessed day for you and y'all. So I got here a stack of packs. These are 1995 Pinnacle Select Baseball Cards. Now, I've had a lot of fun opening these packs. These were, like, limited edition, only limited to 4,000-some-odd cases. Uh, and, of course, there's only a certain number of packs in a box and only a certain number of cards in a pack. So, with the chase cards and everything else, it, it's somewhat of a limited edition, limited edition run. Uh, and, of course, the chase cards are always fine. I mean, there's a few different kinds in here. You got Can't Miss, Sure Shots, Big Sticks, and the Artist Proofs. Now, the Artist Proofs are really cool. Um, as far as the Can't Miss prospects, well, they mostly missed. Now, I have found a lot of great cards in these packs before. Uh, Ken Griffey Jr., Andy Pettit, rookie. Uh, those were a couple of my favorites. Uh, Roger Clemens was a great one. So, you know what? Let's get opening these. Let's take a look-see at what's in there. Now, if you're wondering about this, okay, I, I'm working on a, a little bit of a backdrop or something for something that I'm planning in some upcoming videos. Uh, I think it's going to be fun. I uh, hope y'all are going to think it's fun also. And uh, I, I'll get more into it as, as time goes on. But more than likely within, uh, I don't know, a week or so. Right now it's the end of June for me. Uh, almost entering July that I'm recording this. So you know, you'll probably see something similar to this. I just wanted to see what it looked like on camera. And look, I could make like things stand on it or... You know, people on the base. So that's pretty cool. And that's mostly what I'm looking for, but maybe a bit larger. Yo, 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 you'll see what I'm gonna be doing. It's I think it's gonna be fun. Anyway, let's get ripping some packs here. Okay. Again, these are 1995 Pinnacle Select. Let's see what we find in these. I got some frappers on the side. I got some top loadies also, just in case something great comes out of these. And you know, I in my mind there's always something great. Now, the stickage on these has not been too bad. I uh, hope the humidity we're going through right now here is not going to make it worse. But there we go. Starting off nicely with Jim Edmonds. Very nice. Bernard Giltke. Now, you could hear the stickage. Ellis Burks. But not really any paper loss, so that's good. Brian Harvey. He looks like he's going to huff and puff and blow the house down. All right, who we got there now? We got Chili Dog Davis. Now with the California Angels of Anaheimish something or other. I don't know. Mike Kelly, Atlanta Braves. All right, who's that? Ooh, we got a checklist. A checklist with a smiling face. That looks like Albert or Joey or something. Bella. It's a very nice card there. Now we got ourselves a rookie. Who's this one? This is Chad Ogla, Chad Ogla, 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 Ogia, sorry, Ogia. Okay, then we have, let's see, Brian Hunter. It's pretty cool, nice card. Rookie cards in these are definitely really nice looking. And we got Roberto Petagin, traded from the Astros to the Padres, I guess. I, I don't remember who he was. Maybe some of y'all do if you're either Astros fans or Padres fans. I, I mean, maybe Astros fans were happy to get rid of him. Padres fans were happy to get rid of him eventually also. I don't know. Anyway, let's get the Jimmy Edmonds into, into a frapper here. I, I think he fits good into a frapper. Nice looking action shot there. And the, the posed or the, the headshot picture of him saying something to somebody about something else. All right. This one I can't just pop open. So out comes a handy dandy knife. And we'll see what we find in this second pack. Ooh. Now that's the rookie I'd be looking for. That's on the back of the pack. Ooh. That's the A Rod Select rookie. Look at that. Awesome, awesome card there. I mean, he came up with a bang, and yeah, sure, he had some, some issues, problems, whatever you want to say. And uh, was not really all that well received and that much liked. I mean, he was great. He, 
had maybe more of a mouth than he should have. Or, you know, who knows if it was him or the writers or his agent or who knows what. But people didn't like his attitude. But he was definitely a great player. All right, we got Mark Newfield. Alan Watson. Oh, Showtime. Now that's a nice one. That is a Showtime card. Ooh, pull that apart. And pull that apart. And who do we got in there? You see, that's another Alex Rodriguez. We got a double hit pack there. That's sweet. Look at that. Awesome Showtime card. And look at it. Looks perfect. Perfect to me. No paper loss. Corners look sharp. Now, I didn't look up PSAs on these, but that's definitely also a keeper. I mean, say what you want about A-Rod, but Again, he was he was definitely a great of his generation. In my mind, I mean, y'all could argue it, but I don't know how you would based on numbers and stats and all of that. Could it have been better? Maybe. Could it have been worse? Probably. Could it have been could he have just like fallen off the map? Yeah, but he didn't do that. All right, we got Seth Scott, sorry, Scott Roughcorn. Cuz Scott Roughcorn and I don't care. Scott Roughcorn and I don't care. Reggie Sanders. Ooh, stickage. Doug Drabeck. Those mid 90s wraparound shades. All right, now who do we have? We have Russ, Russ Davis. Yeah, no. Select rookie. Uh, I don't know if I'd select him again, but he was a select rookie. And Rich Becca. And wrapping this pack up with Kevin Flora. It, it, it's funny how the, the waves there, I, it's just kind of weird. My immature mind wonders if that, if it was closer, you know, it would be like smell coming out. But, you know, it's, it's not so. All right, get pack number three up and going here. Some of the pictures on cards, they could be really funny. I have something coming up with some of my favorite, like, goofball cards, I guess you'd say. I'll be doing that shortly. Also, I got plans to do a whole lot of stuff. We'll see. All right, we got Bernard Gilkey again. We saw him before. And that means we see Jimmy Edmonds again. Okay. Repeat. Reggie Jefferson. Well, not exactly repeat. That's different. Didn't see Reggie Jefferson before. All right, Paul O'Neill. Very nice. Not Hall of Fame, but... Definitely a Yankees legend. Cincinnati Reds legend also. Got to remember that. Got Brett Saberhagen. David Justice. Now, I would venture, I would I would definitely argue that he had a Hall of Fame career also. Just not there. I don't know. All right, now we have Jeff Cirillo. Rookie. We have Andrew Lorraine. Rookie. And Darren Lewis, and wrapping this pack up with, who's that, who's that, who's that, Joey, Joey Eichen, Eichen, yeah, that's, that's Joey Eichen, all right, I mean, you, I'm sure you remember him, you know who he was, well, I don't, but I'm sure you do, all right, let's get the Jimmy Edmonds in a frapper, if we frappered one, we might as well frapper the second one, all right, let's get pack number Four going here. Yeah, pack number four. I don't know about where y'all are, but it's been hot and rainy. Uh, we got a, a ton of rain th today during the afternoon. Uh, and it's it's definitely keeping the temperatures like steamy, that I'll say. I mean, I think we're mid-90s right now with humidity like 120% or something. Uh, we might, you might actually hear thunder or, or rain shortly here because I, I know we're projected to get some more. Okay, we got Tony Tarasco. What a derp face. Reminds me of a debater. Robbie Alomar, Hall of Famer. Little bit of paper lost there. I see some dotage. That's not good. All right, Will the Thrill Clark. But again, very, very little on that one. Solomon Torres. Not Grundy. Solomon Torres. Juan Gunn, nice Juan Gunn. Looks like he might have swung one out there or up. I don't know, did it go, like, hit the space shuttle or something? 
He doesn't look happy. Maybe they caught it. Rafael Palmero, he could run for Congress. And he already lied to them, so he'd fit right in. Yeah, yeah. All right, we got Brooks Kalishnik. Kalishnik? Kishnik. Kishnik. Ah, Mark Grace. All right. All time great cub. Cubby legend. Nice card there. We got Ray McDavid. And wrapping it up with who we got? Joe Vitello. Uh, well, that's a select rookie. He was selected, but I don't know what else to say about that. All right, Mark Grace, I'm keeping on the side. So I, I think I know somebody that would appreciate that more than I would. I mean, I'm not a Cubbies fan, but I do have a few friends that are Cubs fans. Believe it or not, Bunkle's got friends. Oh, boy. Look at that. How'd that happen? <laughs> All right, let's get this next one. I would say the card community is definitely one of the places, you know, it, it's pretty cool to nerd out about sports and cards and that kind of stuff. I enjoy it. I mean, during my daytime, I, I get to nerd out about other stuff, you know, like, like data and data and data and statistics. And, you know, it is what it is there. All right, we got Dave McCarty. Kirk Gibson. Green card. Brett Gates. All right. Makes sense. It's Oakland A's. Dave Nielsen. Chili Dog Davis again. We saw that card. We saw it coming. Alex Gonzalez. Uh, well, uh, different Alex. Robbie Thompson. Ben McDonald, now he was supposed to be like the best pitcher that ever came to be. And uh didn't happen. You know, it's one of those things. Ah, well, we know who that is. Uh, it looks like a Barry. We got a Barry Bonds here. And we got Tony Fernandez with the Yankees. Yeah, this is like right around the time that uh, he got injured and ill and everything else. And Jeter got his turn and uh, the rest is history. I mean, Tony Fernandez was an all-star shortstop. Uh I mean, at this point, it looks like he's, they have him listed as a third baseman. See? There you go. Third base. See right there, third base. Because he'd gotten shoved out of the spot most mostly by Jeter by this point. Let's see what it says here. After leaving to face him for so many years with the Blue Jays, the Yankees decided to sign Tony as a free agent last winter. As slick as they come, he's a quality hitter who earned a World Series ring with Toronto in 1993. But then, yeah, he got, like, pushed over by Jeter. You know, sometimes what is what is, right? All right, let's get the last pack going here. Pack number six. Uh, I'd say so far so good with those double-A rods and Barry. I mean, we got a bunch of the stars from that time, that's for sure. From that time and from the next, like, 15, 20 years after. All right, our last pack. What do we have? We have Danny Tartabol. Jeffrey Hammonds. All right, we got an Eck. Hall of Famer Dan Dennis Eckersley there. Now, at this point in his career, he's a relief pitcher, not a starter. And he went from starter to relief and, I mean, was, I'd say, equally good at both. I mean, he was definitely a good starter. Now, I always questioned Hall of Fame or not, but he's there. Got Hal Morris, Garrett Anderson. Andy Bennies, another one that was supposed to be a great, great, great pitcher, got hurt. Orlando Miller, Armando Benitez. Now, I remember we used to goof on him. Oh, my goodness. We definitely had fun making fun of him. Oh, boy. When he was in the bullpen, he did not like us. Nope, I would say no, no. Great pitcher, though. I mean, we just had fun goofing on him. Troy Percival, another nice rookie. And we're finally wrapping this up with Clark White. Oh, no. Gabe White. Yeah, Gabe White. Montreal Expos. Defunct team. Obsolete team. Team that's no longer with us. All right. I'm going to wrap up the Armando Benitez. I can think of a Mets fan or two that might like that. Although I won't sing the song for them like I used to. <laughs> 
All right, and there we go with the Eck. If y'all were a bleacher creature back when, you'd know. <laughs> All right, there we go. So not too shabby. I mean, I, I'd say getting the Roberto Alomar, the Eckersley, awesome. Armando Benitez rookie, pretty cool. And two A-Rod rookies that popped out of the same pack. I, that's sweet. I mean, that, that's something, you know, that right there would be the chase back then. Anyway. Once again, hope y'all enjoyed. Y'all take care. Stay well. Stay blessed. Bonkle out.